Alright, so today we're going to be sitting and talking about skincare routine, products that I use for my skin. Hope you're all doing well today. Before we start off this video, make sure that you add me on my Snapchat in the description. Follow me on Instagram, skincare. I, as a guy, find it very important to look and present myself good to those outside in public, but also just I kind of feel like you should always take care of your skin and your body in general, I feel like. You know, I'm not saying you have to go to the gym, I'm just saying... You gotta be clean because I don't think anyone likes a person that is dirty or lives dirty because I sure as I don't. And yes, you may think about why is your place dirty. Listen, this is a place where genius creates masterpieces. You can cut the masterpiece out because that's all it made. Skincare. I use not many skincare products. Matter of fact, I actually only use one or actually two if you count it as a product. And I'll tell you what it is. So one of the first things that I have been doing for the longest, and I feel like everyone really should do this, but not everyone does this. If you always wonder why your skin is not good, this and this and that, it might actually be because you don't drink enough water. Now, yes, you may be wondering the actual fuck. What does water have to do with your skin? Quite a lot. There's a lot of good stuff in water. Matter of fact, we as humans were born and designed to actually only drink water and none else. So cut out your sodas for like a week or two and drink just water well, how many times you like a day as long as you don't go over the drinking limit because you drink too much water you can actually die it's an actual thing search it up if you don't believe me i literally only drink water i obviously have a soda once in a while but i make sure that it's zero sugar and sometimes i'm a cheeky little sod a football match i'll have a lipton iced tea with a bit of sugar to give you that energy boost but water is such a crucial thing it definitely, definitely helped me with my skin. Now, I do know, obviously, that not everyone has naturally good-born skin. It depends on genetics, but the biggest thing is with skin is your habit, your lifestyle. And I've been there. Two years ago, my skin did not look like this. Now, I'm not saying that I've got the perfect skin in the world. It's not Instagram. It's not a filter that I use. Um Get that out of your head because, honestly, having pimples, this and this and that, having wrinkles is a very normal, natural thing. What you see on Instagram is not realistic. People with layers of makeup on them, with all these fucked up jaw lines and all this beauty nonsense. It goes for guys and women. I've seen guys put filters on their face, this and that, and saying, oh, look how flawless my skin is. Bro, you're wearing 50 pounds of makeup. Yeah, of course you, your skin's going to look glowing, bro. You're not letting your natural stuff show. I don't wear makeup. I don't do none of that. I don't use filters. This, bro, I'm telling you, just do it. Water. Stop drinking soda for a week or two and you'll see the massive, massive, massive change in your skin. Now, another thing is food. That's something I should tell you as well. Your lifestyle really is depending on what you do. If you eat junk food the entire day, especially saturated fat foods and just food that's not healthy in general, the chance of you hide likely getting pimples increases. And I know this because I've been through that. I've been through this horrible experience that I've been eating shit the entire day fatty food, not healthy, and then a few days later, I got these pimples on my face, I feel bloated, bro, that's because of the food that you eat, and yeah, it's an actual thing, food can have a major impact on your skin, and I'll tell you an interesting thing, milk is one of those things that I do not drink by its own, I don't know what it is about milk, this is all the time, this is why I avoid milk as much as possible, now, I don't know if I've got an allergy against milk, or I'm just a pussy, probably that, probably both, but if I drink a glass of milk, my skin itches. I don't know why, but it itches. I get like this weird rash. It's very, very strange. However, if I drink like a protein shake, a pre-made one that I just get in the store, I never have a never have a rash. I drink regular milk out of the whatever can or gloss, whatever you buy. I get a rashy red face. Very weird. I don't know how and why it happens and why that is even a thing. I don't know. But I know I'm not lactose tolerant because I can eat as much cheese as I want and I don't have the shit in my entire toilet. The only, only skincare product that I really use and I do not use it every single day. As a matter of fact, sometimes I don't use it for a week. But what I like to do is, especially after I've shaved, because my skin is very sensitive. That's the one thing about this skin that I've got. Don't know if it's a condition or if it's just a thing with a lot of people, but whenever I shave, my face is irritated, right? And I apply some of this it relaxes, it eases, which is very, very nice. So what I like to do is after I've shaven, which I shave every, I uh, uh, probably shave two times a month. It really depends. I have my moments that I'm like, fuck it. Let the sideburns just 
got them grow like a maniac like my granddaddy used to i always just make sure i shave this and i shave this off because this is the most f fucking i hate this i don't know why but i i just don't like when this gets long it, it just itches you know never like it it doesn't look good on me i don't like it the mustache yeah shaved it as well a few days ago we'll be shaving that as well this week but after i shave i use this and i like to use this before i go to bed because it says on here as well day and night cream it works bro i'm telling you it also works wonders for your hand matter of fact you can use this for anything i sometimes even use it down there now i know what you're probably thinking that's weird i know it sounds weird but um i scratch my nuts very often no not because i well i hope not i don't have anything weird i've just always done that since i was young pretty much like you know you're a guy you're bored you just be like like i do it unintentionally i don't even be realizing i'm scratching my balls i don't know if i do it in public i don't think i do if i do i'm very sorry if you've ever seen me do it in public but like at home place where i feel comfortable in my crib i've been scratching my nuts and you know when it's really dry because you're scratching too much right apply some of this on there it works take it take a few minutes bro it honestly works now i don't know how it works with females i don't know how that works but i do know as a guy you scratch your nuts too much it gets dry and, and irritated and red and it ain't fun does it hurt no, it's just really irritating. It's 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 really a stupid feeling. So that's what I use for my skin. Water and this once in a while. That's it. And I eat healthy in general. Yes. Now another thing, scalp. That is one thing I've always struggled with and I don't know why, but I know when I was a vegetarian at the time, my scalp was really not good and it's crazy when I stopped eating trans <laughs> trans when I stopped eating vegetarian food and I switched back over to a uh, a carnival diet the scalp was almost gone until it came back after a while i don't know why this stuff works great now i do not put this in my hair first matter of fact my friend she told me i should use these ginger shampoo conditioner i avoid products with tea tree oil why because i've used many products featuring tea tree oil it's supposed to work it does nothing for me it actually matter of fact makes it worse for me Yes, that's why I had to specifically find something that does not contain tea tree oil. Because unfortunately, a lot, a lot of shampoos from this time, from these kind of brands, they use tea tree oil. So you're like, oh no, it's got no tea tree oil. Let me read it at the back. Oh, fuck, it's got tea tree oil. This one, luckily, does not have tea tree oil. Because I've used a few products that have tea tree oil. Burns my scalp even worse, and my scalp gets more flakier, which is really odd. So I put this in my hair two times, wash it out, and then... The thing that I think really works the most, it smells great, it's great for your hair, is this. It has honey in it. And this smells like, bro, it smells heavenly. One of my friends, she smells just like this product. She smells identical to this product. She said that it was weird. I said, no, it's not because you literally, like I opened it in the store with her. I'm like, bro, this smells just like you. Like It smells great. She has a perfume. It smells identical to this. Leave this in your hair for a few minutes. Five minutes, she said, but I guess you could do ten. Just really let it massage it in your hair everywhere you can. Five minutes. Rinse and wash it out. And then after your hair is a little bit dry, I like to make sure that my hair is not too, too dry. A little bit of wetness. And then put this stuff in it. This is incredible. This is what makes sure that my scalp is not getting dry. Because that's the thing essentially with dry scalp. It's just irritated dry hair. Your hair isn't producing oil. Your, your head, your scalp isn't producing enough oil naturally. So what you want to get is, try and get one with olive oil. Olive oil works. It does wonders, bro. Olive oil with avocado and shea butter and coconut, which this one has. Put it in your hair. I'm not going to demonstrate right now because i got to wash my hair later today. Do all these steps by steps. Dude, it works. It, it really does. Now, just to let you know, dry scalp is a condition which unfortunately in most cases never goes away. I don't know if you get born with it, unlike autism, you know, it's debatable. Some people say you don't get autism until you're later, or some people say you get born. No, autism is something you get born with. It's I, genetics, I don't want to say that. I know for a fact I got that shit from my dad, because I'm just like him. I'm just like my dad, bro. I'm just as fucking stubborn as him, as him, and I'm just as weird and cuckoo as him. But he's my dad, I love him. This works. E-blast. Get this one, get this brand. I'm going to showcase you guys one more time, right? What I use for my hair. I've been using it for about a week. And, bro, it works so far. The Body Shop. If you can get it, get the ginger. It smells. God damn it. 
it smells great, bro. Damn, I can't even open the thing. Yeah, you can smell the ginger. They use real ginger. That's what's so nice about them. They don't use bullshit. This is my favorite one because it just smells and it soothes and silkens your hair so nice. I mean, I guess you can get any brand. Just as long as you don't get the one with tea tree oil like me, you should be fine to go. These stuff work. So this is what I use for my skin. And this is what I use for my hair. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. And which is very nice, if you've got natural curly hair like I have, it makes your hair even curlier. It makes you stand out from the crowd. It makes you look handsome for once. You ever seen a white boy with curls like me? Yes, you have. Because they're all over the place. It's not a special thing. I know, I know, I know. Well, I mean, I think it's quite nice. Because I do know some guys. Well, I don't personally, but some people, they get... What is it called? Perm? Like curly perms? Like what? It's the fake hair you add in your hair. It's really odd, bro. But that's it. Namaste. Thank you for watching. That means hello. All right. Bye.